Google just dropped something called A2A protocol. And if you have been hearing about agents, MCP, Langchain, and wondering how they all connected, well, then this video is for you. I'm going to walk you through what A2A really is, how it works behind the scene, and why it is a big deal if you're building a multi-agent workflows. And lastly, yes, we're also going to take a look at the real code from Google GitHub repositories for a demonstration. So if you're interested for this video, let's get started. All right, so let's take a look at what is A2A or agents to agents. So based on this article from Google developers, in simple terms, what it means is that it creates the protocol communication between agents to agents. And based on this article, you can see that it says that the A2A empowers developers to build agents that are capable of connecting with any other agents that built using the, this protocol, right? So it offers user the flexibilities to combine multiple agents from different providers. And that's the goal. And to give you an example, this is a diagram which shows two agents interactions. So we have each agent here has many local agents that could interact internally. For example, we could have our local agents that's responsible for doing research. And then we can also have another agents that's responsible for content creation. So taking the research that we did and be able to create the content Content. So you can see that we have uh, multiple agents working together in a single one main agent. And we can see here that this single agent can have the capabilities of ADK or Agent Development Kit, which will interact with the MCP server. And this MCP server can be able to call any external APIs or enterprise applications. And we also have the Vertex AI, or in this case, the lar large language model. And the communications between agents here is going to be a to a protocol which is going to be the main focus of this video. And I'm going to show you how does it work and how you can be able to use it to do the communications between agents. So let's take a look at the code for the A2A GitHub page. And here you can see if we were to scroll down, there is a conceptual overview, which talks about the core concepts for A2A agents uh, protocols. So if we were to zoom in, you can see that here uh, we have the conceptual overview and we have the first one, which is the agent card. The agent card here is basically the metadata, right? Which is a file that contains the capabilities for the agents. Like for example, what this agent can do and what kind of things we can ask for, for this agent to perform. And then we also have A2A server, which basically exposed a HTTP endpoint that the client can be able to send a request to basically ask the server agents to perform the task. And then we also have the clients. Since we have the server, we also have the client and the client will basically send the request, right? So for example, I want to uh, ask for the currency exchange data, right? Then basically it's going to consume the A2A service or server and basically sending the task to the A2A server to perform. And lastly, we also have task, which is created by the A2A server. And once the task is created by the server, um, it's basically going to be executed by the agents or it's going to be sent it to another agents, or it can be also uh, agent will send it to a MCP server and the server will respond it back to the agents and the agent will basically format the response and send it back to the client. So that's basically the state of task. So now let's take a look at an example for a typical flow. So first we have discovery, which in this case, we fetch the agent's metadata. In this case, we're sending a get request to understand what's the agent's capability, right? Once we understand the capabilities for this agent, now we can go for the second step, which is initiation. In this case, the task will be initiated and created and send it to the agent to perform. So here you can see we have an example where we send a task to an agent. And then inside of the post body, we have the message, which in this case, the task is to summarize this article. And once the task is created, we also have to process it. So the way the how processing works is that it can be event based like streaming, which the data will be coming out or coming in in real time. Or we can also have non streaming, which in this case will be performed in a synchronously style. And then the fourth step is going to be interaction. So this is going to be optional. So if user requires more inputs from the agents, then in this case, the client or the user can be able to send a follow up, for example, basically ask for additional changes for the agents to perform, right? And eventually we will have the task to be completed. Either it's going to be completed, failed, or canceled. Now, A2A often gets compared to MCP, Model Context Protocol. And here's the difference. MCP is basically how a single agent talks to its internal tools like search, calendar, or database. A2A, on the other hand, is a protocol, which is basically how a agents talk to other agents. For example, I could have a travel agent talk to a hotel agent or a currency converter. And the metaphor is this, MCP is basically your toolbox and A2A is basically a team of specialists and each has their own toolbox working together on a big job. 
So now you understand everything, let me give you a demonstrations on how this works in code, right? So here I'm currently on the A2A repositories for the sample Python code. And here we have the sample code uh, readme file. So we have the common and agents and hosts. So here we're just gonna use the agents here to create a multi-agent framework uh, to perform some example tasks. So if we were to select the agents here, you can see uh, there's a couple ways we can be able to interact with it. You can see that we can use the uh, Google ADK or Agent Development Kit or Langchain or Crew AI. And for simplicity, we're just going to use Langchain here to create our agents and create our A2A protocols communications between those agents. All right, so to do so, first I CD into my desktop and I'm going to clone the repository for the A2A repo. So first, I'm just going to do git clone repository. Once it's done, we're going to CD into the A2A folder. And I'm just gonna follow the documentations here. So for the setups and running, we're gonna copy CD into the launching folder here. So once we're in the launching folder, we're going to follow the next step, which is to create a environment file for the API key. So it's going to use the Google API key. So we're just going to go and go ahead and get it. And by the way, if you're curious about where you can get the Google API key, you can be able to navigate to the aistudio.google.com. On the top center, you can see that there is a get API key. We're just going to click on this to get the Google API key. And then here, we're just going to create the API key. And here, we're just going to select a project and create the API key. So once you have the API key, you can be able to set it inside of the terminal. And once you've done so, we're going to move on to the next step, which is to run the agents. So here we have two uh, solutions. One is to run on default port, which is what we're going to do. We're just going to do UV run dot. And this is going to run on the port 10,000. Or if you want to run on a custom host port, then it's going to be the second option here. All right. So once we're done with the server agents, then what we need to do is to create our A2A client. So here we're going to do is going to run this following command. And we're going to do this in a separate terminal. So we're going to use that command to create our second client, or in this case, our second agents for the A2A client. So on the terminal on the right, you can see that we have UV run host slash client, which is what we have here. And we also have our dash dash agents, which in this case, we need to specify the agents that it's going to communicate to, right? The server agent that's going to com communicate to, which in this case is the same as what we have on the left. Okay, so let's run this and see what happens. All right, so here you can see this is what we got. So here on the left, if I were to zoom out a bit, you can see that we have a request showing for getting the well-known agent.json, which is the Asian card. And on the right, which is in this case is our client, which will receive the Asian card information. So in this case, this agent server is going to be the currency agent. These are the capabilities of this agent. So in this case, you can see that we have a question. What do you want to send to this agent? So here I'm just going to ask a question. What is the currency conversion between USD to CAD? And you can see that the server send the request through the API to get the data between US and CAD. And after the information is being received, send the result back to the client. So here you can see we have the results. So the exchange rates from USD to CAD is 1.38. So you can see that this is basically just a demonstration on the A2A protocol communications between the client agents and the server agents to show you how the communication works, right? So we can have uh, multiple agents communicate to each other to get information to be able to perform tasks and be able to get things done, right? That's it for this video. And in this video, we talk about what A2A protocol is, how it works behind the scene, as well as the difference between A2A and MCP. Lastly, we also talked about A2A protocol in live demo, creating a A2A server and client and show you guys the interactions on local machine. So if you do like this video, please um, like this video and subscribe for future content. And if you're building something cool with A2A or MCP, please drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you're working on and see you in the next one.